Well, the feeling was really interpreting what the owners wanted to portray, and that was really about comfort and generosity. It's the sort of house when you turn up, you feel like jumping on the sofa, which is quite different to a lot of modern houses. The house is sited at Waiona Preserve, which is near Glenorchy at the head of Lake Wakatipu. We're bordering two national parks and it's definitely got that wilderness feel which you can see today. The textures we used were part of the architecture, so and, and what the client had wanted specifically, like the stone is a very important part of this house. It's kind of the anchor of everything, and then the wood beams around that. The visible structure of the house is recycled hardwood, post and beams. So everything else has to complement that, so it's quite important to make them the heroes without being too dominating, being too strong. So everything else had to softly just work in with them and, and, and complement them. The metal of the roof is weathered copper. Windows were timber, quite unique for projects of this type. We're looking for more of an old world and authentic, perhaps lodge feel, a house that felt like it had been here for, for decades. The big thing about the design is the collaboration, really. We're working very much with the architect and the client getting into both their heads, send ideas, a lot of it in the planning stage, sending backwards and forwards with possibly reference pictures and saying, will this work? Do you like this? Can this work, Hamish? I think Jewel really understood and respected and supported the architecture. I work around Hamish. He he's designs the place and I work my designs around his designs. The interior design is supposed to be a complement to that. I really admire some of the bold interior choices that she's made. The heavy sacked curtains, which I think are fantastic, and then a consistency of the quiet luxury, which you can really feel it when you walk into the house. When you come into the place, you come into this more, it's not actually a formal living, because it's not a formal house. It's a very large house, which makes you think it might be formal. But you come into this living area, which is very generous, but very comfortable. Then you've got the bedroom wing from one, the private bedroom wing and the guest bedroom wing, both of them quite accessible but private. And then you go downstairs and it becomes a little bit more intimate. Something that was clear in the client's brief and objectives was to use natural products wherever possible and be environmentally friendly. Vita Space made that very easy with the FSC certification. We've celebrated the natural textures and wear within the timber floor as well as the, the original beams. Vita Space had the perfect flooring for us. Three different Galway oak. It's a beautiful oak flooring. The client picked the colour and then we made that work everywhere. We've used large planks in the main areas of the house with the gable roof. Uh, these are random width and random length. We've also got Versailles which is a parquet and they've also got a herringbone and they're used in different areas to create different spaces, different feels. All sustainable, no VOCs in the glue or in the finishes. When we wanted panelling for the offices and the bar room, they had a beautiful European oak, which worked. That was the pale colour that we liked. And they also had a very sustainable flooring, actually, which we used on the floors and the walls downstairs in the basement area, which is the spa area. Every project has a number of challenges. Unfortunately, projects with less challenges or less tensions aren't, aren't the best. The key is to approach them as a team, which is headed by the client, who is very supportive. When you first meet the client, you're kind of nervous. You know, it takes, they're nervous probably, and we're nervous, and everyone's trying to please each other and figure out what they want. And we just got going, and then COVID happened. Under those restrictions, we became quite intimate with the job, made it special. There's a lot more attention to detail, I think. We actually use ArchiPro in-house. Firstly, we use it as a tool to search for new products and stay up to date, but equally it helps clients find us. By the time we get approached, they've, they've generally worked out that Mason & Wales are probably a good fit. I think this project felt very unique, partly because 
the client, they weren't interested in having a statement house and they weren't interested in buying into anything except having a home. A, a lot of the furnishes and fittings in this house and the scale we needed isn't currently fashionable within um, the residential market. Jewel was pretty amazing at sourcing and customising a number of these things to fit, putting contemporary, perhaps high-tech fittings and fixtures alongside comfortable and traditional and, and making the two work well together. Every room is a little bit different, so we picked a different colour scheme for each room. It's much more classic than you'll see in the contemporary homes at the moment, but it's probably a little bit more timeless. The big thing you'll see with each of these rooms when you go in them is actually it's not the room, it's the view and the space and the light in them that, that makes them. All these little things you don't think about, which Hamish and I have worked on a few houses now together where we just slowly get all the services and all the luxuries tied in and you don't even know they're there. Quite often the client doesn't realise they're there until they need them. I just think with any project it's important to recognise that it's not one person or one firm but it's a, it's a team approach of consultants, contractors, suppliers and obviously led by the client. The relationship we built with this client, the fact that we, we're still friends and we're allowed to sit here today is, um, is pretty special. It's very comfortable. The minute you arrive, you're comfortable being here, you want to stay here, you want to sit down.